Hey guys, my name is Julie Salant. I am an animal communicator. Welcome to the channel. How are you? I wanted to just start the channel off by doing a quick video to introduce myself to you and to let you know a little bit about me and how I work and what I do, what I can offer you. Um, because I have been doing this for a few years now and you know, I get a lot of new people. Um, I think that everyone's starting to wake up. Our planet has been going through so much with the pandemic and a lot of people are experiencing changes in their lives, in their professional lives, in their personal lives and also with their animals and realizing that we are all gifted humans and that you do have gifts that you may or may not have acknowledged and that some you may have some gifts that you're working with right now, but there are also more gifts that are dormant within you um, that will come up to the surface for you to start working with as well. I am also an intuitive healer um, for your life and for your business and for your animals. So what I do is I basically can speak to your animals just as I'm speaking to you. Um, let me give you a little bit of information about me and how this started and about animals in general so that we're all kind of on the same page and then a little bit about how I work and hopefully this will be enlightening for you. So the way that this started was I am an empathic, sensitive person. I am the type of person that's always been able to go into a room and I can read what other people are going through. I can see beneath the mask and I can tell a person's true heart. Um, and I've been this way since I was born. It was a gift that's been handed down throughout the generations and I have it, my grandmother had it. And I can even go so far as to feel your pain, but I choose not to do that if I don't have to. What I do with my clients is I help them with their gifts because unfortunately there's no manual when it comes to your gifts. I can see blockages in people and I remove those blockages and then I let light in from God and from spirit, however you want to call it. I call it from God. And I am able to see your true mission here on earth and your true trajectory. And I help you access and leverage your gifts. So I am the person that's kind of the spark. I help you make the changes that are necessary to get you in alignment with your mission and your purpose. Now, when it comes to pets, what happened with me was I was always taught that pets and animals in general were our friends and that they are very much just like humans. And that's the truth. Whether you believe it or not, I can tell you from lots of experience, the years I've been doing this, um, that they do feel a great deal of about you and, and what you go through. Um, the way it started for me was I've always been a horse person. And when I was 15 years old, I had been through, uh, my father and mother had moved quite a few times. And I was going down kind of a dark road in high school and they got me a horse because I've always loved horses. Horses are master healers and horses because of their sheer size are able to take on negative energy from humans and transmute it into light. They are also mirrors for humans. And so it's very common for those people who have never been around animals if they get near a horse and they have a bad attitude, the horse will walk away and turn their back to them until that human decides to let down their guard and surrender to the horse. Or the horse will mirror back that to them until they take a deep breath and then they relax. And then the horse sends them calming signals to calm the human down. What happened in my specific case was I've always been able to connect with animals. And we've always had dog and cats my whole life since I was very young. I had this horse, it was late at night. I was in the, the barn by myself and there was a man there that had a horse and she was a beautiful mare. He was very cruel to her. He would always whip her all the time. And this one night it was pouring rain outside. You know, when it pours so hard, it's kind of going sideways. And he brought her in, he took off her tack and he left. Now he never brushed her when it was raining out. He never brushed her, he treated her terribly. And I was tending to my horse. And so she was behind me in the stall behind me. There was no one else there. 
And I was waiting for my parents to pick me up because I was 15, I couldn't drive yet. And I actually heard the words, help me. And I turned around thinking there must, you know, there must be another human here, but there wasn't another human. So I was like, that's weird. I must have made that up in my mind. I must have just heard that. And I heard it again. I, I heard, help me. I need help. Please help me. I turned around and I walked over to her stall and it was her. He had taken her through a barbed wire fence and she was bleeding. I'll just say around her ankles because a lot of you are not equestrians or riders. So he basically left her wet and bleeding in her stall and she was bleeding. She needed help. I ran up to the owners of the barn who were on the property, got them down there. We got a vet in, of course, and we bandaged her up. Um, but it was the first time I heard an actual, the animal speak in my mind words. From then on, I've been able to look at an animal as a human. Uh, I talk to them just like I'm talking to you right now. And they respond back to me in my mind. They give me words and they give me pictures. And I can speak to animals that are here in this life. I can also speak to animals that have passed on as well. Um, what you need to know about your dog, your cat, your animal, your horse, is that they understand everything that you're going through. The only difference is they don't speak the same language that we speak. They speak a different language. I'm lucky enough that I can understand their language and I can give you their information to the human. That's my job. I channel the information from them to you. So you can ask me questions. I'll ask them, they give me the answer and then I give that answer back to you. But they are trying their very best at all times to give you information. And what you need to know is that they see you constantly in your house. They see you at your best and they see you at your worst. They see you when you have a brand new job or everything's going great for you. And they also see you when things are not going well, when you've lost your job, when you're stressing out about money, when you're in a relationship that you're unhappy in and you're crying. They see it all. They experience it with you. And they try to take on your pain energetically as best as they can. It doesn't matter if it's a little chihuahua or a huge dog. So, you know, they try to take on our pain to lighten your load every single day. And they will do things to interrupt your patterns, even if you get mad at them, just to stop you from crying. Um, they feel you and love you unconditionally, and they don't harbor resentment um, or guilt. They do remember things and they do know words, but they don't harbor anything that happened yesterday they don't bring it to today and they look at you with uh, your heart they don't look at your exterior they don't care what you look like they don't care if you're fat if you're slim if you're it, you know they only care about your heart and the condition of your heart how you treat them how you treat others and how you're treating yourself and they will do anything to make you happy and they feel so much. I can't, ex I can't express this enough. Um, they have souls, they have feelings and they feel separation and they feel anxiety. They feel nervousness. They feel um, happiness and joy and love. And they also feel safe and unsafe. They also have very good barometers with people. If you have someone in your house that they don't like, they will let you know. Um, there are some pets that are, they're just like people. They all have their own voices and they all, it's, it's not exterior, it's interior. They all have their own characteristics. You know, some are very um, quick and some are slower. Some are high maintenance and some are easy, you know, easy come, easy go. They don't, they don't care. Nothing ruffles their feathers. There are some that really want to be with you all the time. And there are some that are like, yeah, I'm okay. You know, I'll let you know when I need you, especially cats. I mean, if you have cats, you probably know that's already true. Um, but they all have their own voices and they feel everything that you feel. So just know that they are not soulless. They have feelings. They feel everything and they only want you to be happy. The way that I work is that you can give me 
questions about your animal. And the things that people ask me the most are, you know, is my animal happy? Um, what can I do to improve their life? Are they in pain? If you had to put your animal down or, or put them to sleep, they, a lot of people need the closure. Did I do it too soon? Um, is my animal safe? Is my animal in heaven? Is my animal okay? What does my animal want to communicate to me now that I, I'm still here and they're there because I miss them so much and I feel lost without them? Is it okay if they, if I get another one, will that be okay with them? So, you know, these are all questions that I get constantly. Um, there are people that have an ability more than others. I don't believe that everyone has the ability to talk to animals because it's kind of, you either have it or you don't. Um, I, when I go down the, in my barn, the aisle and all the horses are in their stalls, I literally see them like people. They're like, hey, some are like, hey, what's up? And some are like, what's up? Some are like, hey, what's going on? And some are like, don't talk to me right now. I'm busy. Talk to me later. They all have their own personalities. It's the same with dogs. It's the same with cats. It's the same with wild animals. And the way that I work is I usually request a picture of your animal and their name. And then all I need are a couple of questions. And then I check in with them on my own. I channel in with them and I ask them questions and I'll ask them, you know, are you in pain? How are things going for you? What do you want to convey to your human? Um, what is it that they're not seeing that they need to know about you? And how can they help you more? And then I meet with you on a Zoom call and we go over all these questions. And the way that, that I do this is I can channel in and I find them. And the only way that I can explain how this works is if you've ever seen the matrix, um, that movie, it's kind of like that. I can see all these faces going past me and they're all different animals. And I'm searching for just that one. And then once I find the one, everything stops. I go that one and it stops. And then I make it bigger and then I can find your animal and they can be anywhere in the world. So if I'm in South Carolina, they can be in California, they can be in Rome, they can be in Greece. Doesn't matter where they are. They can also be obviously in the afterlife. They can be in heaven and they come to me and I ask them permission because I always need permission to talk to someone or an animal. Um, and then I let them know who I am and also that you as their owner have asked me to come talk to them. And is that okay? And they usually say yes. And they're usually very interested and want to say hi to you because they miss you as much as you miss them. Um, time is fluid and energy is what we're talking about here. We're connecting to energy. And please know that if your animals have passed on, that they're always in heaven. There's always a place for them. There's always sunlight. They're always happy. And they always have friends. Um, I've never, you know, the only time it's sad is if you've forgotten about the animal and you haven't connected with them in a while. And I experienced that with my cat. I thought she was okay. And I just didn't connect in with her. And she was very, very sad and lonely without me. But now I try to keep them all in my prayers every single night. So this is just a little bit about me and how I work. I'm happy to talk with you if you want a session with me. Um, there'll be some information below. You can go online or you can just send me an email either way. And I'm also going to be putting uh, together a membership plan because I think it's important. So many of us are like myself where I don't have many kids and my animals are my children, right? I have uh, two cats and a, and a horse and they're everything to me. So a lot of us are, are like that. We love our animals more than anything. And they're a part of the family, right? They are just they're there and they're a part of the family. And I thought it would be fun to have a membership plan where you could get direct, you know, ongoing questions and answers with me, with your pets. Um, every month, we're going to have some themes. We're going to give some special stuff away and we can all get together and support each other. And if you want to learn how to talk to your pet, I can certainly give you some pointers and some tips. Um, and it's easy if I do a reading for you, because then I know your animal's characteristics, if they're laid back or if they're anxious or they're nervous. Um, one way that this really helps, I'll give you an example. My niece who lives in Boston, she had rescued a cat 
And the cat was very, very nervous and they were just starting out and the cat would not come out. You know, she was kind of hiding under the bed and she wouldn't come out. And my niece, she's very loving. And she just wanted to communicate that the cat was safe. She wasn't going to give her away or back to the shelter and that she just wanted her to come out and just be okay with everything. And so what I did was I channeled in and I spoke to, to Peanut and I told Peanut, she loves you. You're not going back to the shelter. Are you okay? Are you experiencing any pain? And she wasn't, uh, he wasn't. And then I said, you know, you're safe. And she just wants you to know that she loves you and that you're not going to be taken back and that you're accepted and you're safe. And there's someone here who loves you and we'd love you to come out and just play with us. And, you know, sure enough, within a day, the cat was out and talking with her and playing with her and they just got completely comfortable and all the walls came down. Sometimes all your pet needs, especially if you have a new pet, is that reassurance because if they've been at a shelter, they get nervous. They could have had a bad experience. Um, they could just be like, I don't know, will I be taken back? I'm afraid. And their true character can't come out until the walls come down and the walls can't come down until they feel safe. And sometimes it just takes time, but I can also facilitate that if you've had to move your pet or move your horse or move your dog or cat, um, especially due to, to what's going on with the pandemic, people have had to make changes that they hadn't wanted to make, but they've had to make. And that's very upsetting for pets. Just so you know, it's very stressful when you move animals, horses, cats, dogs, it's very stressful for them. Sometimes they won't eat um, because they get nervous. Everything's kind of their root, they like routine. And when the routine's thrown off and there's new people that are in the mix or a new house in the mix, they get very like scared. So just know that they get affected just as much as you do. And that can affect their eating and that can affect them. Um, so, or, you know, even if you brought someone new in a new human or a new pet as well. So that's part of my job as well. I talk to them and let them know everything's okay. And, you know, they also do communicate to me if there are red flags that you need to know as a human from their perspective, they will often show me if the human's been up at night and you're not sleeping, you're not taking care of yourself. You're not working out. You are in between jobs. You are stressed out. They will always show me that from their perspective. And they want, they're doing this because they care about you and they're trying to throw up a red flag and say, maybe you need some help in this area. So I hope this helped you. I hope that you um, can understand a little bit more about me and what I do. And I'd love to help you. And I will be doing further videos as well for everybody. And I will let you know about that subscription service that's coming soon in the next week, probably. And if you do want some time with me, just look below. You can email me or you can click the link and go buy a session. And I'm more than happy to help you. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Take care.